Everyone, it's Ross, and I got an interesting fig for you all today. Uh, this is the first Adriatic type variety that I'm going to ripen. Um, it's called Blanche de Du Cezanne, a French variety. Uh, but it's very similar to like Green Aishia, Verte, Paradiso, JH Adriatic, Rockaway Green, right? It's a green skinned, red interior fig that is really, really good. A friend of mine in Virginia really loves this variety um, so he's raved about it for years and I figured let's see if I can get it from him and you can see the fig it's right in here it's getting attacked by stuff plus we got rain tomorrow so better harvest this guy and I didn't get it by the stem that kind of stinks but we'll just have to eat it all now um, you can see that the jujube here is growing into the tree. Uh, it's quite a good grower, it seemed like, and it's set pretty well with a greenhouse head start. At least from a young tree, the thing was probably six inches tall, and now it has three branches coming out that's around four feet tall. So, impressive grower this year. Very similar, like I said, to a lot of figs, but he prefers this one um, more than the others. Pretty fig. I don't know what's been attacking some of these varieties, guys. I think uh, the slug. Sorry, I want to show you guys the fig before I put you guys down and cut it open. But I think the slugs have been getting to some of my figs. I don't know what these marks are here. This here looks like a slug. And you can see kind of slime on the leaves, which is probably what that is. Pretty nasty, right? Uh, I've also had a groundhog, I think, destroying this variety. You can see there's a close, uh, pretty, pretty closed eye, even though it's slightly open. Let me put you all down and cut it open. Get a taste test. This is a very, uh, these kinds of figs, guys, the Adriatic types, are very, very good. They're up there. They, they have the potential of being nine out of tens this is very typical. You got a very dark red interior with the green skin. A lot of times there's honey in there. It's got a very thick interior as well. So it's like a, a thick jammy interior. Kind of like a col de dame, but pretty di a little different than that. Let's try this. really good now these have like a really interesting berry flavor to them these Adriatic types it's more whiny like a good aged wine um, interesting sort of like the Bordeaux figs like Ron de Bordeaux has an interesting berry flavor attached to it that's very hard to describe so does the Trace Displace um, there's a few figs that it's just more complex. It's a more complex berry flavor. When you bite into it, you're quite surprised at how interesting it is. And then there's also quite a bit of sweetness in here coming from the honey. That's the best and easiest way to describe these figs, I think. You may get some acidity. These are really, really good figs everywhere. In California, especially... Arizona, drier climates especially, but they also do well in uh, humid climates, like on the, the East Coast, Pacific Northwest, or parts of the Pacific Northwest. They do really well here. And even though they're a bit late on the late side, right, most of these will ripen um, in September. They're still really, really good. Um, like the fruit quality is definitely there. I just grafted this year a Sister Madeline's Green Greek, and if I can find it, I think this is it right here. So this one's going to ripen uh, pretty soon as well. And like there's other figs, like Verto Long, um, this one's Sister Madeline's, that are just, they're quite similar. And uh, at least Sister Madeline's seems a bit productive. They take a, a little bit to uh, set fruit. 
they take like three years to really get a great crop off of them. You know, all the paradisos, all the green ishias. But nonetheless, they're all really good. So that was Blanche de Duce Saison, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.